Good morning, my darlings. Guys, the day is here. Today, we are going to be leaving our villa. I'm actually really, really sad because this villa has just been unreal. We've been here for a month, a month. Can't believe it, but today's the day we are leaving this villa to go to our new villa and it's actually quite exciting because our new villa is where we're going to be staying with sam's brother ted and sam's brother's girlfriend medina so it's actually a good thing because we're moving to a new villa and it's a villa we're going to be sharing with ted and medina but yeah guys i just thought this would be quite a good vlog to do leaving this villa and then i can do a tour of our new villa because it's obviously bigger and yeah if anyone is ever coming to bali and staying in changu i would a million billion trillion zillion percent recommend this place it's called bella rasana villas in changu the staff couldn't be any more helpful the villas are so lovely you've got a private pool everything gets like delivered so easily taxis come bikes come it's just perfect you're not on like a main why is it not focused there we go. You're not on like a main. Oh my God, what's going on? Are we good? I think we're good. You're not on like a um, main road. So you're not hearing constantly cars going past and scooters beeping because scooters here beep all the time. So yeah, I'd 100% recommend. And I've just got myself an oat caramel latte because it's time to pack. Also, does anyone else have to have on like something in the background playing? whilst you're packing or sorting something out i do usually i put friends on but for some reason friends isn't on netflix over here bali you need to sort that out pronto so i'm just going to put on some drag race and not watch it just listen to the background sounds while i pack is that weird i don't know but we're doing it Why is packing so stressful? I'm literally moving from one place to another place about half an hour away and I'm stressed out. I'm finding all these labels and stuff that I didn't even know I had. <sighs> Guys, I had to stop. I was packing for about 15 minutes and I just had to stop, have a break and watch some drag race. So yeah, Sam's outside working. We've got 50 minutes until we need to check out slightly concerning but oh well right guys we're done i'm packed this is case one that's case two the case isn't shut yet but sam can come and help me with that <laughs> here's sam packing sam is sad to be leaving this villa yes are you excited to start fresh in a new villa yes. a bigger villa with your brother yes nice so it's 11 44 oh my gosh my bikini i forgot that it's 11 44 and sam's just started packing and we have to be out at 12. so bit of a rush but i'm gonna make it work oh i'm gonna miss this pool i'm gonna miss this little kitchen i'm sad We've already said um, if we come back to Bali next year, we're going to stay here again because can't fault it. Watching. Yeah. What's going on? Taking your shoes Right, we are all packed and ready to go. Somehow we've got more bags than what we came with, but we're ready to vamos. Okay guys, so we've just dropped our bags off at our villa. We got a little look, but not like a um, proper, proper look. And now we just came to this little cafe. There were no seats left inside, so we've had to sit outside, but the fact it's really busy means it must be good. So Sam got a watermelon juice out of 10. Not cold enough. 
not cold enough. Six. Oh, I got a strawberry natural yogurt and honey. Would you call it a milkshake? I actually don't know. But taste test. Oh. It tastes like a strawberry fruit. Try that. Also, so we've just ordered those two drinks. I ordered a toasty. Sam got like poached eggs on. What did you get? Uh, avocado poached eggs, sourdough. He got avocado poached eggs on sourdough, and the whole bill was eight pound ninety seven. Eight pound ninety seven. This is probably the cheapest place we've ever been. So, if it's good, it's great because it's literally a two minute walk to our new villa, so. I got a message from Ted and Medina. They landed in Germany, which is great. They landed in Germany at about 3 a.m. here. So, they will now be well on their way to Bali. I think their flight from Germany to Bali is like 11 or 12 hours, so. A bit of a long one but i hope you have a great flight and they are landing this evening at half eight half eight quarter to nine something like that so we're gonna stay up and greet them when they get to the villa so i'm a bit excited this is sam's meal So, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because there's so many cars, but we are now walking to our visa extension place. Because when you first come into Bali, you get a visa for 30 days. And then if you want to stay, you have to go to one of these places and extend it. So, we need to extend it because we've been here for 30 days tomorrow or the day after. I'm not sure, but yes, we're walking now and it is boiling. Right guys, we sorted our visas. Um, it was an absolute rip off. Considering when you get to Bali, the visas are 500,000, which is like 25 quid for 30 days. And we just had to pay 1.3 million for an extension for two weeks. But anyway, it still works out about 60 quid. You know, it's still pretty cheap, but whatever. It's sorted. We, we do have to go to the embassy on Thursday, which is 40 minutes away, but we're going to plan the day around that. But anyway, forget all that. We've just got to our new villa. Let me give you a tour. Okay, so I've just walked in through these doors. This is the... Oh my gosh. This is the outside. Just walked in. And here we go. So, here is the pool nice looks very deep got some cool little beanbag things over there outdoor shower very nice this is the first bedroom this is going to be mine and sam's bedroom just because both bedrooms are the exact same by the way oh, let's shut that door it's so nice and cold in here so gorge bed nice mirror side tables very big air con it's so oh it's so nice and cool tv love it and then go around the corner another mirror and we've actually got fitted wardrobes, which is unreal. Another mirror there. I see you. And then the bathroom, again, very nice. I'll turn the lights on later. Um, yeah, just, you know, simple. So yeah, really, really happy with the bedrooms. And obviously you can literally jump out of bed and jump in the pool, which is perfect. So then, Sam, do you want to do the rest of the tour? Okay, so then you walk past the pool area and this is the living room. How nice. I love how it's all just open. Everything's open. So yeah, sofa, chairs, TV, coffee table. And then this area, I don't really know what this area is, but there's two more bean bags. There's a big grassy area. I'm guessing you can, I don't know really. It's just a big open space for activities you could do some really good cartwheels here actually so yeah oh, love that very cute and then behind the living room area we have the kitchen and dining table 
I very strongly doubt we're gonna sit there and eat and have meals because it's so cheap over here to eat out. Me and Sam have been here a month and we haven't cooked a single thing. Fridge, pretty standard, all the kitchen bits and bobs. Water filter. Loads of people have been messaging me saying, oh, make sure you're drinking filtered water. Make sure you do it. Like all the villas, hotels, everything have these filtered waters. So you don't need to worry about that. Nice little flowers. And then look how cool this detail is. Amazing. And then we go up. Oh, that's another bathroom down there, by the way. And then we go upstairs. This bit is definitely my favorite bit. Like this villa actually has exceeded my expectations. Come up the stairs and look at this little sunset spot. How stunning. I'll be on there catching the rays. Two sunbeds and then we've just got this little, I don't really know what this is, just a big bench seating area to look out onto some random field in Changu, but nice. Really nice, love this part, this is amazing. And then we walk back a little bit further down, that's downstairs in the villa. And then this is Ted and Medina's bedroom where they will be staying. And it's the exact same as our bedroom downstairs. We've just said we'll put them upstairs because I don't really know why. They're both the exact same. We, we said we were going to give them the better room anyway, but they're both the same. So, yes. Really, really happy with this villa. The whole place is ours. Yeah, absolutely love it. Anyone wants to know the name or anything, comment down below and I'll let you know. Also, this is only 10 minutes away from the last villa we were in, which is perfect because we absolutely love the location of our last villa because there were so many restaurants, supermarkets, like beach clubs around us so it's really good that we're still in this kind of area because we weren't done with it yet i think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day right now i'm gonna sunbathe a little bit might win the pool and yeah just have a nice little chill i'll go see what sam's doing sam what are your thoughts on this villa good we like this villa you're gonna go in the pool yeah i want to i actually want to know how deep it is because it looks very deep but you know can be a bit deceiving. Oh, wow, it's hot today. So um, I've just unpacked ish, not fully, just a bit. We're only actually at this villa for one week and then we're all go, we're all, we all moved to Ubud to another villa. So um, I didn't want to like unpack, unpack. Is that lazy? I don't know. But I've just like hung up the things that need to be hung up and stuff like that. So Sam is going to do some work right there have you got anything to say yeah i've got to do some work i'm not sure and that is sam's input in this vlog wow <laughs> it is it is boiling i've literally been late here for about three or four minutes and <sighs> Oh, I'm not a strong hairstylist either. Jesus. Also, guys, guess what date it is? I'll give you a clue. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. What day is it? It's October 3rd. Here's a wave. Okay, three, two, one. Next villa in Bali. Okay, so out the pool. Oh, look at them tan lines. Love it. So we are now going to the supermarket just to get some bottles of water. We do have a filter there, but um, it's just good to have bottles, you know, if you're going out. Bottles of water, bottles of that lemon drink. If I've not shown it before, I'll show you. It's so nice. This like vitamin lemon juice. 
um, maybe some like cokes or whatever and maybe some snacks. I don't know if Ted and Medina will be hungry when they get here. They should get to the villa at around half 10 tonight. So I don't know, but we're gonna go and get some bits. I'm absolutely dying. I've missed tea so much, but there's just no kettles anywhere. And I'm not boiling water on the stove to make a cup of tea. I miss my tetley. Actually, no, I miss um, York's tea. Now, walk to the shop. And it's not even far. There's about six different shops, all within like a 10 minute radius, which is perfect. No such thing as pavements in Bali. No such thing. Look what I've just walked past. I can't believe it, oh my God. Okay, salmon teriyaki crisps seaweed crisps there's some weird they're like jacket potato flavor crisps no don't really get it i just want some walkers okay just got back from the supermarket i'm going to show you everything i'm going to show you everything we got whilst i put it away and tell you how much it was so first of all oh my gosh sam got two Dozen, two dozen. 28. That's more than 20. No, 10 in each. Oh, 10 in each. So I've got 20 eggs, and how much were they? Um, 40 something thousand. Like two, yeah. Five. Yeah, like 40 something thousand, which is like two pounds something, which is pretty good. I need to show it. We got, well, Sam got some like coconut cooking oil. Well, not oil, like spray cook his eggs in instead of butter because it's like healthier um now this is the lemon water i was talking about this uh with a thousand milligrams of vitamin c the unique isotonic drink it's like a cloudy lemonade but not really really strong it's so nice if you're in bali or you know anywhere that sells this really really good so we got quite a few of them one two three, three four. Oh. four lemon waters. I would have got more, but the supermarket's two minutes down the road so we can go back and get more. So we'll put them in the fridge. Then standard, it's weird at home. I never really drink Coke, but when I'm, what? When I'm at home, I don't drink Coke. When do I ever buy Coke at, ho at, ho at house? At home, never. But when I'm on holiday, I just think a really, really cold Coke when you're really hot, go a little bit lightheaded in the sun. Got four Cokes. Sam was gonna drink them. Oh, I got this, right. I've been trying to find since we've been here, like a Prosecco because when we've been out for meals, I've been able to order mimosas absolutely fine, but nowhere sells Prosecco. So, yeah. So I saw this, it's, Somiyak Suji Bomber Light Cheap. It was in the alcohol section, so I only got one, but I want to see if it's, it says 4.8%. Is it a cider? Is it a sel? I hope it's not a seltzer because I don't like seltzers, but I got that to try because, because one of them. Um, got some Pringles, barbecue Pringles, and got some Harry Road cold bottles. These have to go in the fridge. They just eat like you know, throughout the day. And then finally, four bottles of, oh, oh for God's sake. Like I said, we have got a filter, but we just want the bottles, drink these and fill them up and put them in the fridge. And all that came to like 150,000. Yeah, which is about six, seven pound. Absolute bargain. Absolute bullshit bad. Oh my god, I need to just stop. So guys, we just came out for dinner to Sama Sama Prime. Apparently he does amazing sushi. So let's go. Look at this guy. How cute. Very fancy guys, with very fancy vibes. Any friends fans watching will appreciate this. Unagi. <laughs> Okay, so this is the, is it sashimi, what's it called? Sashimi salad. This is Sam's 
we have some sashimi salmon, some sashimi tuna. The lighting and the quality is so bad. I don't know what's going on. Guys, look at this. Oh my god. Wow. This is like the coolest sushi ever. Oh my god. That one's spicy tuna and that one is prawn tempura. Wow. And this is the aftermath. Sam said it was the best sushi he's ever had in his life. Best wow. Sushi. That's a pretty good review. I will also admit I'm not a massive sushi fan, but that was really, really nice. And it was walking distance to our villa, which is kind of dangerous, but we will definitely come back with Ted and Medina, who also guys have just landed. So we need to get back to the villa in the next like half an hour. Guys, we are back at the villa. Ted and Medina have landed, got the visas, gone through security, like so, so fast. I swear it took us like an hour and a half and they've done it in like half an hour, I can't believe it. So they're on the way. So finished our sushi. Oh God, let's, oh, let's just leave that. Finished our sushi, literally came straight back and now we're just waiting for them. So excited, like, I just can't believe it. I can't believe we've been here for a month. I know we keep saying it, but I just can't. It just doesn't register. Guys, I'm literally the worst vlogger ever. Ted and Medina arrived about four days ago. But when they arrived, we were just too excited to see them. I hope you can hear me, by the way, I'm at a waterfall. We were just too excited to see them. So this is four days after. So we came to a waterfall today. So I thought I'd include it in the vlog. Busy. It looks a bit busy, but it's actually not that bad. It's like we're in a jungle. It's so cool. It's like a little uh, cave over there. Yeah, this has been my favourite waterfall so far. It's stunning. Hey guys, <laughs> sorry this vlog's literally been a bit all over the place, but when we first moved to the new villa, we had loads of things going on. I did vlog that whole thing though, so then Ted and Medina came and you know, it's so, so different when it's gone from just two of you to four of you. Like, really, really fun, but yeah, we just had loads, loads of things going on. So yeah this is me currently on the saturday morning we're gonna go back to finn's beach club today i did put that in another vlog which is really exciting my hair's in plaits because i want it to be curly so don't judge but yeah guys this is where i'm gonna be ending the vlog i will be doing more vlogs um when we move to ubud we're going on wednesday so i will be doing more vlogs because we'll be going on tours and we're doing like loads of fun days out so yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm sorry it was a little bit all over the place but that's just me at like a waste man that's just me so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one my darlings